We have three things that we can gouge. We can gouge Charlie, we can gouge Bravo, and we can gouge Alpha. Now, if you've seen our earlier zone read videos, you've understood how we make our read calls based on Charlie, Bravo, or Alpha. It's the gap of the defender. If they're in the A gap, we call them Alpha. If they're in the B gap, we call them Bravo. If they're in the C gap, we call them Charlie. So it's all the same thing here with our Punisher series. We're gonna start out with zone gouge Charlie. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run our zone scheme and we're gonna gouge the C gap defender. So the true play call would be zone left, gouge backside Charlie. I wanna walk you through the colors and what they mean. Zone tells our offensive line to run their zone scheme. Obviously this play is to the left. Gouge tells our play side guard, which would be our left guard in this case, that he is going to gouge or block the read man. Who's the read man? The backside Charlie. So everything else for us stays exactly the same. All 10 other people are gonna run their normal zone read. The only person that changes jobs in this case is our play side guard. He's gonna be gouging. So let's take a look. If you've seen our zone read video, you know what our scheme is. Our outside receivers for us have a very simple job. Their job is to push crack. Our inside receivers will set the edge or block the echo defender, the edge defender. Tackle is covered. He's gonna block the play side number. Now, this is where things change. Our play side guard is our gouge man. So what he is going to do is he is going to pull and block the read man, which in this case is the backside Charlie. So our guard is pulling and blocking the backside Charlie. Remember what we talked about, all other players stay the same. Center is covered, he's got the play side number. Our guard is uncovered, he's gonna go play side gap. First fat man and look for work at the second level. Our tackle is uncovered because he's got the read man. He's gonna go play side gap. First fat man, look for work at the second level. So what we've created here is we've created basically a false key, a false pull for the, uh, for the defense. Now, if your linebackers are coached the way I think they're coached, which 90% of linebackers in the country are coached, if you see a guard pull, your job is to follow him and insert into the A gap. That's what we want to happen. Because where are we running? We're running up into the play side A gap. So what we've done is we've really false pulled. Our Y still have us our inside edge receiver. Yeah, can't talk. The Y is still responsible for the echo or edge defender. Our Z will do the push crack on the outside as he's the outside receiver. H, quarterback, their jobs do not change. They're still running their same zone read path as we taught in previous videos. The H will be running to the right first and coming back across the formation quarterback would be normally reading this C-gap defender, but because we're gouging him, there is no read. It's an automatic handoff. Because of the word gouge, the quarterback does not read anymore. He is handing the ball off. Now, you say to yourself, no one's blocking that linebacker, coach. That could be a problem. And you're right, it could be. But as we talked about just a minute ago, every linebacker in the country is taught, if a guard pulls, to follow him. So he takes himself out of the play. This is not a play that we would run all the time every play. We're gonna use this as a change up. When we see that we pull the guard and this guy follows, this is a great play for us. If we know he's not gonna follow, then we'll come back with a trap or something like that. So what this can turn into really is just a fullback trap. Essentially it's the old school fullback trap. The guard's gonna pull and kick out and the H instead of bending that way can now follow the pulling guard. That's an adjustment that we make on the sidelines. We would call that a zone gouge bend. In other words, we want the H to bend back behind that pulling guard. So there's ways that we can make adjustments on the fly if this linebacker doesn't do what we think he's going to do.